Hereditary angioedema patients experience acute attacks of edema and pain because they have an overactive calocrine kinin system. This is a complex proteolytic cascade involved in the initiation of both the inflammatory and coagulation pathways. A critical part of the cascade is the production of bradykinin by the protease plasma calocrine. The inactive form of plasma calocrine, precalocrine, is normally found bound to its substrate, high molecular weight kininogen, in the bloodstream. Activation of precalocrine to plasma calocrine occurs on binding to endothelial cells where activating factors are present, in particular, activated factor 12. Here, plasma calocrine cleaves high molecular weight kininogen to liberate bradykinin, a kinin considered to be responsible for the characteristic hereditary angioedema symptoms of localized swelling, hypotension, and pain. Whereas normally in the calocrine kinin system, this process would be regulated by inhibitors, in HAE patients, the key inhibitor, C1INH, has subnormal activity. This deficiency can be exacerbated by triggers such as trauma or stress and allows plasma calocrine to proceed unregulated, promoting excessive bradykinin generation. Bradykinin has many effects, and one of these is to bind to B2 receptors on the endothelial surface. This stimulates the endothelial cells to contract, producing gaps between cells where fluid leaks out of the circulation into the surrounding tissues. In addition, vasodilators such as nitric oxide and prostacyclin are released, which further increase vasodilation and vascular permeability. Local swelling can migrate from site to site and mainly occurs in subcutaneous tissues such as the face and arms, the abdominal organs, and the upper airway. Laryngeal attacks are experienced by approximately 50% of HAE patients and are particularly dangerous because they can lead to respiratory tract compromise and suffocation. 